The Office of Naval Research, Innovations for the Future Force. In the U.S. Marine Corps, both Joint Terminal Attack Controllers, known as JTACs, and Fire Support Marines are important to mission success. They support infantry forces by observing the ground situation and calling in necessary air, artillery, mortar, and naval gunfire. It's a complicated job, requiring hours of training and practice to stay proficient, a process called getting your sets and reps. But getting regular sets and reps is challenging since JTACs and Fire Support Marines have to book time in large indoor simulators or take part in live fire exercises involving expensive ordnance and aircraft. The Office of Naval Research, or ONR, is working to address this challenge. ONR coordinates, executes, and promotes science and technology research programs for the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps and is sponsoring the development of two unique systems to make it easier for JTACs and Fire Support Marines to train. Both systems come in portable kits and are simple to carry. They use sophisticated video game style virtual and augmented reality software, and they're made with commercially available laptops, virtual reality goggles, and hand controllers. The first system is called the JTAC Virtual Trainer, or JVT. The second system is called 3D Warfighter Augmented Reality, or 3D War. Both allow JTACs and Fire Support Marines to train anytime and anywhere, on base or on deployment. When you look at live fire training, nothing will replace that. Unfortunately, it's very costly. What we're trying to get to is that a, uh, any unit can own a system like this and anytime they want to train, anytime they want to work supporting arms, they can do so at their unit location. JVT stands for the JTAC Virtual Trainer. It's a fully immersive virtual reality system combined with a, a commercial video game uh, that allows the Marine Corps JTACs to get sets and reps for training in how to call in fires. JVT has two main components. One is a commercial unity-based video game software captured on a commercial gaming computer, and the other is a cutting-edge virtual reality head-mounted display, HMD, that allows the JTAC or user or operator uh, to be under the hood, as we say, in a fully immersive virtual reality environment. The hand controllers allow the JTAC, the operator, to interact with their simulated equipment. I really like the technology. I think it's a lot different from what we have. It provides kind of more of a real-world view and it's a lot different from kind of sitting behind a laptop almost. It's convenient, it's effective, and it requires you to get hands-on experience. Uh, it forces you to actually get comfortable with the equipment. It's not like just working on a keypad. This kind of technology would give us that ability to keep people as best trained around the clock in an easily deployable environment. In a new changing Marine Corps where we don't always have the opportunity to do live training, we have to do our best to bridge the gap so that people are able to be as best trained as possible at all times. This system here is great for JTACs, JFOs, prospective students of each of those as well to get their first real grasp at calling for fire, working with aircraft, and running missions. The mobility of the system is outstanding. You can pretty much travel with it on deployment. It's very usually friendly, which means that it, it takes 10 minutes to develop a scenario to be able to execute that training which is a good thing versus the current systems that we have, which are very complicated and not user-friendly. Office of Naval Research has been fantastic. They've sponsored this development effort from the, pretty much the get-go and have allowed us to come down here and connect with the Marines to get fast feedback on what to incorporate into the software. The other ONR-sponsored training system is 3D Warfighter Augmented Reality, or 3D War. The whole point of Warfighter Augmented Reality is to have uh, the Marine basically put on a visor, he's seeing the real world, but then we're augmenting it with target sets that he prosecutes as part of uh, his job as a professional fire supporter. And it provides you the ability to basically turn any place you are into a training environment. So the equipment for each Marine uh, consists of three main components. We have the backpack AR processor, which is pretty much just a computer with backpack straps. Uh, we have the head-mounted display, which goes over each Marine's eyes. 
And then we have our navigation sensors, which determine our current position and orientation, as well as feed HD video directly into that head-mounted display. So I think this system was uh, pretty cool on the fact that we were outside in the parking garage looking at uh, what's going on in the real world and being able to just throw a target out there and then do a call for fire, do a cast mission on it. I just like the fact that it seems hyper-realistic to me. It adds whole new scenarios into a Ford Observer's training. You can place uh, enemy forces or targets in a certain area and then you see actual real people. I definitely think this is very beneficial for the Fire Support Marine MOS, especially in locations such as Camp Lejeune or Camp Pendleton where we don't really have many impact areas around here, areas we can actually shoot live artillery. We can actually get out to certain locations that feel like actual OPs or locations we'd be using in a real life situation, not just staying in a classroom and staring at a computer screen. The Office of Naval Research has been critical in the development of this technology. This has been in the works for many, many years, and ONR has been funding us and allowing us to continue to research and develop these technologies to help marine training. When you look at the young generation that's using it, they are gamers. They are very familiar with this kind of uh, system. In a lot of respects, it becomes intuitive to them. Uh, they might be, have a gaming system at home very similar to this, and so there's a very short training cycle to actually get them proficient on this system. And if we can turn our training into games, we're going to be a lot more successful in training our Marines in the future. For further information, contact the Office of Naval Research.